and Yahusha, getting into a boat, crossed over the Sea of Galilee and came to Capernaum, his own city. They brought to him a man who was paralyzed, lying on a stretcher. Seeing their active faith springing from confidence in him, Yahusha said to the paralytic, Do not be afraid, son. Your sins are forgiven. The penalty is paid, the guilt removed, and you are declared to be in right standing with Yah. And some of the scribes said to themselves, This man blasphemes by claiming the rights and prerogatives of Yah. But Yahusha, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven and the penalty paid, or to say, Get up and walk. Both are possible for Yah. Both are impossible for man. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority and the power on earth to forgive sins. Then he said to the paralytic, Get up, pick up your stretcher, and go home. And he got up and went home healed and forgiven. When the crowds saw this, they were all struck and glorified Yah and praised him, who had given such authority and power to men. As Yahusha went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew, Levi, sitting in the tax collector's booth, and he said to him, Follow me as my disciple, accepting me as your master and teacher, and walking the same path of life that I walk. And Matthew got up and followed him. Then as Yahusha was reclining at the table in Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners, including non-observant Jews, came and ate with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, why does your master eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when Yahusha heard this, he said, those who are healthy have no need for a physician, but only those who are sick. Go and learn what this scripture means. I desire compassion for those in distress and not animal sacrifice, for I did not come to call to repentance the self-proclaimed righteous who see no need to change, but sinners, those who recognize their sin and actively seek forgiveness. Then the disciples of John the Baptist came to Yahusha asking, why do we and the Pharisees often fast as a religious exercise, but your disciples do not fast? And Yahusha replies to them, Can the guest of the bridegroom mourn while the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. But no one puts a piece of unshrunk new cloth on an old garment, for the patch pulls away from the garment and a worse tear results nor is new wine put into old wineskins that have lost their elasticity. Otherwise, the wineskins burst and the fermenting wine spills and the wineskins are ruined. But new wine is put into fresh wineskins, so both are preserved. While he was saying these things to them, a ruler, synagogue official, entered the house and kneeled down and worshiped him, saying, my daughter has just now died, but come and lay your hand on her and she will live. Yahusha got up and began to accompany the ruler with his disciples. Then a woman who had suffered from a hemorrhage for 12 years came up behind him and touched the tassel, the fringe of his outer robe. For she had been saying to herself, if I only touch his outer robe, I will be healed. But Yahusha turning and seeing her, said, Take courage, daughter. Your personal trust and confident faith in me has made you well. And at once, the woman was completely healed. When Yahusha came to the ruler's house and saw the flute players, who were professional hired mourners, and the grieving crowd making an uproar, he said, Go away, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed and jeered at him. But when the crowd had been sent outside, Yahusha went in and took her by the hand, and the girl got up. 
and the news about this spread throughout the district. As Yahusha went on from there, two blind men followed him, screaming loudly, have mercy and compassion on us, O son of David, Messiah. When he went into the house, the blind men came up to him, and Yahusha said to them, do you believe with a deep abiding trust that I am able to do this? They said to him, yes, Adonai. Then he touched their eyes, saying, according to your faith, your trust and your confidence in my power and my ability to heal, it will be done to you. And their eyes were open, and Yahusha sternly warned them, see that no one knows this. But they went out and spread the news about him throughout the whole district. While they were going away, a mute, demon-possessed man was brought to Yahusha. And when the demon was driven out by Yahusha, the mute man spoke, and the crowds wondered in amazement, saying, Never before has anything like this miracle been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees were saying, He casts out demons by the power of the ruler of demons. Yahusha went throughout all the cities and villages in Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news, the Bessor of the kingdom and healing every kind of disease and every kind of sickness, his words and his works reflecting his messiahship. When he saw the crowds, he was moved with compassion and pity for them because they were dispirited and distressed like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is indeed plentiful, but the workers are few. So pray to the Adonai of the harvest to send out workers into the harvest.